Aparentemente está hablando, pero no lo escucho nada. Hi guys, good evening. I'm sorry, my computer turned off. Unexpected, like just turned off. Maybe something happened to it. I do apologize for the inconvenience, okay? No problem. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so a quick question. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Bea Salaverria. I'm 39 years old. Um, I have been a teacher since I am 17 years old. So I have been a teacher for half of my life. Um, I've been teaching everywhere. I love teaching. I have also worked in call centers, but teaching in call centers, English all the time. So the idea of, of this is for you to practice Okay, if you have questions, if you want additional resources, links, okay, on how to improve your English, feel free to ask me, okay? That's why we have the WhatsApp group. You can always come to me and ask me any type of question that you might have, okay? Thank um, you. You're welcome. Have you had the opportunity to actually log into the platform? Are you doing the exercises already? Not yet, teacher. <gasps> Not yet? No, not yet. Yes, I have been not done. Yet. Yes, I have. Yes, me too. Yes, I'm ready. I'm if ready. I had, if I had chocolates right now, I would give you chocolates to all of you who have already logged into the platform. But I don't have chocolates. I cannot give virtual chocolate. I'm gonna send you virtual chocolates, okay? <laughs> to each and every one of you. You have to do that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> when we have the opportunity to meet, I will take you guys chocolates. I pinky promise, okay? I pinky promise I will take you chocolates. Um, I'm happy that you're actually, it's a pleasure that you actually are going to be part of this class. We have 30 participants. That's amazing. Good job. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions or there is anything that you would like to tell me before we get started. Anything you would like to say? I don't. No? no? Okay. Okay, great. So, um, if you had had the opportunity to log into the platform, yes. have you had the opportunity? Okay. Yes, so, yes, I do. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, okay. What is, what is it that we're going to see in the platform? Tell me. It's called a time to remember, right? Yes. Yes. A time, to remember. time to remember. So we're going to start talking about the past tense. Past tense. Yes. Ooh, how are you with grammar? How's your past tense in grammar? Tell me. Are you good? So, so. So, so. So, so. Okay. So I have a question. I'm going to mute you all so you can listen to me better. Okay. I have a question. So for all of you, how many, how many, um, okay, how many regular verbs do we have and how many irregular verbs do we have? Do you know? A lot, teacher. I don't know how, but a lot. Make guess. It's okay if you don't have the right answer, but try to guess. How many verbs do you think we have in English? How many are regular and how many are irregular? And so many irregular. So many irregular. Give me a number, like a number. Approximately. Maybe twenty. Maybe twenty verbs. Twenty verbs. regular. Regular, twenty and irregulars. Another twenty. Mm, maybe anybody else can guess. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Two thousand. Eliezer says 200. Oh, 200. Okay. 200 irregular, irregular verbs. 200 irregular regular. verbs. Wow. Okay. Maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about regular? Um, uh, 200 irregular and 100 regular. Or uh, vice versa. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. If you have a computer there, or can you Google it? It's actually approximately 600, 600 regular and 200 irregular. 
So it's like 800 or more, I think, like 400. I'm not sure. But it's more like that. So we have more regular than irregular. So it's easier to learn the regular ones that only end in ED. And the, the irregular, you take them just by pieces. Has it been difficult for you to learn the irregular verbs? Or has it has been difficult or easy? <laughs> No, it's it's, it's difficult. Very difficult. You just need to remember the difference between the endings of the regular verb. Very good, and that's something that we're going to be going over tonight, actually. So we have more than six hundred regular verbs. I was as I was mentioning, and how many irregular did I say? Around 200. Exactly. Approximately like 200 regular, irregular. But we have like 500 regular verbs and then like two. But you don't have to memorize them all. What you have to do is just find a way, okay, with the main, the ones that, don't worry about the ones that you already know, but focus on the ones that you do not know, the new ones. Always try to use more, have enhance your vocabulary by getting new verbs, okay? Five a day. Two or three, that's fine, okay? But at least for you to try to get a new one every day. And that way you're going to increase your vocabulary, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're going to get started with the platform. I'm going to share my screen here really quick. Um, who wants to help me read the objective for today? Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. Okay. I grew, I grew up in the United States. I moved here ten, 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you, you'll be able to ask an, an answer question answer? in the past tense. Answer. Mm -hmm. uh, answer question in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Very good. Details and get to know people. Okay. Details. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Details. Okay. So, um, was and where? Hmm. What's up with was and where? Let me see. Let me share a new share. Da -da -da. Here we go. So we're talking about the past tense, okay? So welcome to the basic session one. So we're talking about the past tense with was and where, right? But before going into that, was and where is part of the simple past, right? It's not past perfect or present perfect. Okay, forget about that. It's not something very difficult. When do we use was and when do we use where? Do you guys have an idea based on the picture that you have in your screens? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It depends Tell me. On the okay, it all depends on what? Was in the singular person and mm -hmm. where in the plural person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, give me an example about last night. And you can use indicators. It was an action that started off and finished in that moment. Last night, yesterday, last week, right? Last night, I had... I had pizza, for example. It happened, it's not gonna happen today, it just happened yesterday, last night, right? Okay, it's the simple, simple, that's why it's called simple past. Now, was and where is the past tense of the verb to be, right? Okay, was is for singulars and third persons, he, she, or it, okay? He was, he was, it was. And where is for all the plurals, okay? Now, okay. this is only in the positive way. What about the negative way? How do we use was and were in the negative way? Was not, we just add the not. Was not or were not, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever we want to make a question, what do we do? We take that verb and we put it at the beginning of the sentence or the structure of the question, and that's how we start off a question, okay? Okay. Um, yeah. Did she work yesterday? Did you have pizza last night? Yes, I did. Okay. Now, okay. give me examples using, give me examples using did with questions. Ask questions to your classmates using did. 
Did you eat the last night? Did you eat just the last night? No. Did you eat last night? Okay. Or did you have dinner last night? Mm -hmm. Guys, did you have dinner last night? Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh huh. Very good. Yes, we did. Now, whenever you use did, if you notice, you say, yes, I did. But if I want to extend my answer, I would say, yes, I did. I had pizza. Now, mm -hmm. yes, I did. I, yes, I did have pizza. Now, you might be asking, but Bea, why are you using have in the present if we're talking about the simple past? Do you guys know the answer? Because you are using the, auxil the auxiliary, this. Very good. Because now I have a helping verb or an auxiliary that is helping my main verb. So I don't have to, uh, I don't have to say it over again, right? So I don't have to use it over again. And I keep it to, it is my past, it's using the past tense. So I don't, my, my main verb will always go in the present. So I can say, yes, I did. Or yes, I did have pizza last night. Okay. Um, I have another Great. question. Um, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. I have another. I have another question. Did you have fun at work today? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't. You don't have to ask. You ask. Hi. Why, why didn't you have fun at work? Because it was, was hard day. Because it was a hard. It was Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays are difficult, right? For everybody. Traffic every Monday. Every Monday. Yeah. Hard. Traffic. Ah, people are the stressed weather. out. The weather. Many conditions. Many situations, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So we're using that. So, but you're gonna have fun tomorrow, okay? I I, I know you're gonna have fun tomorrow at work. Sure, you have to be positive. Be positive, okay? Just attracted that you're going to have fun. Okay. I'm going to give you a sentence like the ones that we have here. He met his wife six years ago. I want you to help me make a question for this answer. What would be the possible question for he met his wife six years ago? Try to make six years ago. Uh -huh. Did he meet his wife six years ago? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Next one. They watched the movie yesterday. What would be the possible question? Did they watch, they watch a movie yesterday? Um, try to try to change that to que hicieron ayer, maybe. I I was working. Did they have? Did they watch a movie last week? What did they do? You could also say, what did they do? Very good. Somebody said that. What did they do? Oh, they watched the movie yesterday. Mm -hmm. What did you do yesterday? I was trying to get fun at work. I went, I went to church. I went to church. Cuando es la acción directa, to church. I went to church. I went to church all uh -huh. day. Okay, great. Okay. I was working. <gasps> oh, I am sorry. On it was Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> sorry well, to hear that. I was, I was cleaning my house. I was, ah, excellent. I, I was cleaning my house. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I visit it, my grand, grandfather. When I do this, I, porque ya pasó. I visit. Visited. Visited. My grandparents. Excellent. Now, thank you for mentioning that and bringing that up. And this is what happens. In the past tense, when we learn English with teachers or in general, they always um, never correct us when we say love it, work it, or, you know, like, I don't know. It, we always tend to say the ed. So in English, as you see in one of my slides, uh -huh, 
in in English, you have the id if if it ends in t or in d. If it ends in p k f, it's a t. Or if it ends in l n r, it's a d sound. I'm gonna t I'm gonna share this slide with you, okay? As a resource for you to have in mind that English regular verbs in English will never be if, okay? So never love it, never like that. So I I call no. that uh -huh. so it's loved, okay? Or oh, wanted, wanted. Now for the or it, washed, washed clothes. So you don't say wash it, you say washed, okay? Never, none of the verbs in English would be ed. They always it id or t or d sound, okay? Now, for this particular sound, and I'm gonna show you here for it, something that helps students is to do this. You move your head up for the id, like wanted. And that way the sound, instead of ed, it comes an it, wanted or needed it will help you because you're you're making a lot of pressure in saying that id mucha presión here Aha, so you say wanted needed needed mm -hmm. yes okay very good wanted or needed yeah wanted okay so talking about was and where, mm -hmm. so we're talking that was and where, was is used for third persons and where it's used for plurals, right? Okay. Okay. Um, I want you to try to make questions with was and where, and I want you to interact among you. So get the names of the participants and ask somebody a direct question, okay? I want to listen to you participate. <laughs> Were you busy today, for example? I visit my sister. Try, try to make the question with was and were, like, were you busy today? For example, Irma, were you busy today? And then you would answer, yes, I was, because I'm asking you directly. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, I was busy, my sister. I was busy with my sister. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Any other one? Any other question yeah. as an example? Yeah. Hmm? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, if you ask was. was, you answer was. Yes, I was. Were you busy? Were, because I'm asking you in plural. Were you? All of you. So Irma said, yes, I was. So she answered for herself. That's why you answer what? Teacher, where you are this morning? Where were you this morning? Ah, where were you? Okay. Where were you this Where morning? Where were you this morning, teacher? Ah, I was home teaching. <laughs> okay. Through Zoom, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask Nicolás, ask a question to Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, uh, where were you? you? You be the last night? Where were you last night? Where were, where were you the last night? Last night? No, only last night. The solo se utiliza for very specific things, okay? Like. Okay. Where were you last night? Where were you last night? Mm -hmm. I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, Guillermo. Eating pupusas at work. No. On a Sunday. <laughs> Ay, no. Okay. No, I work. Uh, yeah, we know. It's okay. Okay, very good. Um, let me see. Claudia, can you ask Hugo a question, please? Um, where uh, Nicolás? Hugo, uh, let me see. Hugo. Uh, where, 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 uh, 
Saturday. In Saturday. Where were you? Where were you Saturday? Where were you Saturday? Let me let me write it down on the chat. I was in the working. I was in the work. I was at work. At work. Where were you Saturday? I was at work. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Vanessa asked Jonathan Salinas. Tell me. Where were you um, on Marlowe? Say what? that again. Where were you in the morning? I was I was working in the morning. Okay, but remember that um, you could also oh, ask. Uh -huh, like you could ask um, not where, not only with places like where, what were you doing, when were you. You could also ask the what, when, where. But if you want to ask directly was or where, you would go straight with was and where. That's how you would start off a, a question. Were you indirect and something very specific with something very specific? Were you watching Netflix last night? For example, were you um, were you having pupusas with your family um, yesterday? <coughs> was Vanessa was Vanessa at the mall Saturday? Okay, so whenever you ask was and where, it's for a very direct action. Okay, so try to make very specific questions with was and where with actions, activities, etc. Okay, I eat it pupusa last night with my girlfriend. Okay, so uh -huh. so my question would be um were the pupusas delicious? Yes is Yes they were is, Yes they were were the pupusas delicious? Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. Was your Netflix series interesting? Same way I ask, same way I answer. Yes, it was. Okay, so you always go ahead and the same way you ask, the same way you answer, okay? Okay, teacher. Do you have any questions so far? No? No. No question. No. No questions? No. Are you sure? Well, I don't have a question. But is it is the first time that I have to class for this method? Ah, okay. That's nice. Okay, uh, great. It's very difficult to me. <laughs> me too. What do you feel what do you feel difficult about the class? I don't know, yes, it's, I, very, yes. it's very different to the, the methodology, methodological. Met, methodology. 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 It's very different. Not methodology. Every teacher, remember, every teacher is different. Every teacher has a different methodology. Remember that this is like if we were in face-to-face, -face, just that we're behind a computer. Nevertheless, we are, we, the more we practice, I like to practice and correct you on the spot. And this is something that I have. I'm sorry, it's just because I want you to improve and be better every day, okay? In every class. So I do it okay. more like for you to practice it with examples more than to stick to a grammatical rule because sometimes it's easier it's it's easier when you just give examples and you practice and and speak them and write them. We're going to write some examples right now on the chat. So I think it's better when we do it that way because the more you practice, the better you get in English, okay? Teacher. Yes. Yes, Marty. In my Teacher. case, I think I didn't get a lot of information that you explained because it's very difficult when the, the sounds around the, the class. Yes, that's why in WhatsApp I ask you. Um, I I ask you, uh, whenever you want to speak, you can unmute your your microphone, and then when you finish speaking, mute it again. That way, we don't hear the background noise of the movie or the kids screaming. I know that it's your home and your family is there, but remember that this we have one hour, and we want to 
uh, in that hour, we want to take advantage of that particular hour to to improve the language, right? Exactly. Yeah, but right. in the in my case, I lost the control with the the computer. I I found every time the the microphone to close, but. It's very difficult for me. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Okay. We're going to get the I'm hang happy. of the tool, okay? Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, next exercise. I'm going to, I am going to place you on, let me, let me, no, I'm not going to place you. I'm going to share with you the screen again. Hold on, let me just new share and let's go back to the platform here. Let's see, ta da da. I have so many screens open. Okay, so did you have the opportunity to do this today? No. No? Yes. Okay. Not yet, teacher. I need, yet. I need the link. Yes, I did. Okay. It's online.inglescorporativo.net, and then they should have given okay. you uh, your username. It's going to be your email address, and then your password is going to be 12345. It's a generic password for everybody, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Also, also can, you, can you download the apps? Yes, you can. Thank you, for re thank you for bringing that up. You can also download the app. Mm hmm You can also do that. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try to do the knowledge check together. Let's see how you're good with did and the past tense. Um, here it says, choose the best response to this question. So if I have the question, did she play soccer? Did she play soccer in high school? What would be my possible answer here, guys? Yes, no, the second one. she didn't play, no, she didn't play soccer in high school. No, she, she played soccer. She, she didn't play so soccer in high school. Why not the first one and why not the third one? Because Let's analyze it. Is, because the verbs is in past. The verbs the are? Sentence. Oh, in the first one, the verb is in the past, so it doesn't apply. And on the third one? No, the, the red one doesn't make right. sense. Wrong. Excellent, because it doesn't make sense. The structure is incorrect, right? That's why. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. So it would be this one. Okay, let's go with the next one. When did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in 2005. I okay. graduated from college. I yes, it's the second. The answer is the, the second, second one. Second, from college second one. Second. The second one. Second. Excellent. The now, second. Uh, graduate. I want you to check out your chat. Whenever you have a D in English, it's a J. Graduate. 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 In Spanish, read it in Spanish. Graduate, graduate, graduate. Uh huh. Wait, okay. graduate, graduate. Uh -huh. So when did graduate. you graduate? graduate? It's a difficult word yeah. to to say. And uh huh. Graduate. The second graduate. is correct. The second is okay. It's correct. The mm -hmm. second one is correct. Very good. Uh -huh. I graduated okay. from college in two thousand five. Number three, I grew. Oh, let me graduate in college. Okay, number three, I grew up in Houston, Texas. What's the question? Where did you where did you where did you grow up? 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 Because I'm using did, so my verb goes in present, right? Present, yes. Okay. Now remember, whenever you ask questions, remember to make that I call it like the Dora la Exploradora, you know, like the cartoon. Where did you grow up? Like you really have to mean it. Not in English, you have to exaggerate your sounds okay because in not it sounds like it's it's just a sentence and then for it to sound a question where did you grow up okay and and then the answer the correct answer is the first the first one where did okay. you grow up mm -hmm. the correct answer mm -hmm. okay. number four i began to study english two years ago 
when did you begin to study when did you English? begin to study English when did you begin to study English very good the first one the first one the first one the first one, the first one. Okay. The first one. what's missing first here one. what's missing on the second one the auxiliary, the auxiliary because the second one is missing the auxiliary is missing and on the third one both are in the past the auxiliary and the main verb right so yeah yes. no go yeah. there okay and the last one number five did you have a pet when you were a child no i did i did yes i did yes i did yes i did the last one okay Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Why can't I say no? I did have a pet. Because the auxiliary uh, isn't in the negative form. Didn't because they don't come. Form is not correct. Because it's not in the negative form, it's incorrect. Yeah. Very good. Okay, excellent. So it's because yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I need excellent. to use did plus not. Yay! Very good. Good job. 20. Of course. Okay, so guys, I have a question. Did you hear, listen to my question, did you hear to what happened yesterday on the news? About Kobe Bryant's uh -huh. death? Yes, I did. Yes, I what did. What can you tell yes, me about it? Yes, I did, teacher. Okay, can yes, you tell me, can you tell me what happened? Yes, I did. Kobe Bryant had an accident. Uh huh. Yeah, helicopter crash. The helicopter okay. where he was in. Yeah. Bryant died. With her daughter. With his after. daughter. His place. Yeah, basketball. They play basketball. Okay, so he he had an accident. He had an accident. He had an accident. Uh huh. Okay. And he died. Okay. And what type of, um, how many people died? Nine, nine people died. Eight, nine. I don't know. I don't know. Nine people died. Eight, nine eight, people. Eight, eight, eight people. Have you heard any updates? Who, if they were family members, have you heard any updates about what happened? Kobe Bryant and, and his daughter and six more people. Mm -hmm. What is the difference was, now that we're was, talking about dying? What's the difference between pass away and die? Do you guys know? No, no. actually, I don't. Pass, pass okay. away uh, means it's like a uh, falleció mm. and died as murió. Mm -hmm. e, let me check if this Five is seven. pretty much the same. Yeah, pass away is whenever you have an illness or you're sick, okay? And then your family in this sort of way gets ready for your, if something's gonna happen uh -huh. to you, like on a long-term or short-term. But die, it's tragically. On the end. Okay. Yeah, in that precise moment. So it's a tragedy, line, something happened. At the end. Mm -hmm. So in pass this away. case, Kobe Bryant pass away. passed away. So, oh, I'm sorry, you know, um, just to give it, oh, I'm sorry. Um, for example, my, my father, uh, my father passed away two years ago. He had cancer. So it, in a way, it got us ready for his disease. So um, uh -huh. he was, we were getting, because we knew he had cancer. He lived with us a couple of months and then he, he actually passed away. But die is boom on the moment in a tragic way or just instantly. Okay. And okay. And Crystal. Kobe Bryant. Okay, so Paul, Kobe died Bryant died. Away? So Kobe Bryant died, died mm -hmm, instantly in the moment. Uh -huh. So all of the past, unless there was a survivor, then he passed away because he survived and he was still at the hospital trying to recover, but eventually he passed away. So if that's that's what happens, then you, you pass away. But if, if it's in the moment, it was something tragic, then you die. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay that's very interesting. Good information. So we're gonna watch much. you're welcome. We're gonna watch a video in regards to Kobe Bryant 
And I want you to tell me, try to use what we have learned, okay? Uh, what did happen? What's the message behind the, the video, et cetera? It's a commercial. It's a very short commercial. I want you to watch it and tell me what do you guys think about it, okay? And I want you to narrate it, trying to use the past tense, okay? For tomorrow. I'm going to show it to you right now in this moment, okay? Ready? And tell me if you listen to it. Ready. Can you, do you see the video on my screen? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. 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 Would you like to have some ice cream, young man? Ice cream? See. The best fly with Europe's best airline. Turkish Airlines. What can you tell me about the commercial? <laughs> Bobby was greater than Messi. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, a fun fact, Kobe's Brian favorite hobby was to play soccer. Yes, it was. Okay, what can he, you tell me about the know, commercial? What, what he, he, know, he knew what was the best. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Can you narrate the commercial? Tell me what happened throughout the commercial. Messi and Kobe uh, wanted to from different sports and to impress. Messi was right a uh, letter, I think. How do you say firma? Autógrafo. Ah, sign, 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 sign. Autograph. Uh, uh, right. of breath. when it's somebody I popular don't... like in your case okay so we all have our signature okay like whenever we oh, go to the right. bank or in our doys but whenever you are popular or you're a celebrity you have it's not your regular signature it's just like you're an autograph that represents oh, you oh, not necessarily has to be your real or your legal signature it could be is your initials, etc. So that becomes an autograph. Autograph. And you pronounce it like this autograph. 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 Like this, autograph. 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 You write it autograph. autograph, but you pronounce it autograph. Mm -hmm. That's how you would say it. Autograph. So he was trying, the kid was trying to get an autograph from either or. <laughs> what else happened in the commercial? Tell me. The kid preferred the ice cream. Why do you think that ha this happened? Depends. Like with uh, it was more interesting the ice cream, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Very good. Kids' innocence, right? Yes. <laughs> no, they prefer the ice cream. What would have happened in your case? What would you guys have done in this case? Uh, in my case, I will go with an uh, autograph of Kobe Bryant. Okay, Kobe's Ryan autograph. I would have gone with Kobe Bryant's autograph. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And the rest? What about the rest? But nevertheless, he we'll wasn't prefer, on, on. I would prefer the, the ice cream. I wasn't laughing. I can just make it. No, I would prefer, oh, the, I ice prefer cream. the I prefer the Kobe yeah. Bryant. I don't like Messi. <laughs> and I'm not a basketball fan. In my case, I, I don't I like, like Messi, Messi too. Messi. Hmm? Yeah. I prefer the ice cream. 
I don't like this. Okay. I don't like Messi neither, Kobe. So you would have gone with the ice cream. Wow, we have a whole variety of options, okay? Some of you guys, Messi, some of you guys, Kobe Bryant, and some of you guys, ice cream. Interesting. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so now my next exercise is tied up also to Kobe Bryant. And now I'm, I want you to use your internet or your phones to look up for the information. I will make the question, okay, using was or where as well. And I want you to come up with the answer. For example, where was Kobe Bryant born? Can you Google it and tell me? He was born in Philadelphia. He was born in Philadelphia. Very good. What year was he born? 1978. So how old was he? Wow. He was 41. That's a Kobe Bryant fan. Yes, so. He's a Kobe Bryant <laughs> He was 41 years old. We can actually, you know, it's it's interesting now that he passed, that now that he died, it, you get a lot of this information on on social media, right? Twitter, Instagram, yes. and Facebook, all about him. Okay, so he was he was forty one years old. Yes, yes he was. very young. I know. He was. I didn't know nothing about Kobe Bryant. Only that he that he was a that. basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, only that. <laughs> An interesting he fact about Kobe Bryant is that he helped his community. He retired, but he helped his community um, doing a lot of like TED Talks. He would actually go and speak to the girls to stay away from travel or kids, teenagers, to stay away from travel in California um, for them to, you know, practice sports. So he was a he was followed by the youth so he was an he was a he was an icon among among youngsters they would follow him because he was always um doing charity and doing and trying to have these kids stay out of trouble from the streets so he was he was a very good for for what i read right this is what i read um <clears throat> my next question is imagine you could go anywhere in the world, all of you. Where would you like to go? Interesting question. Anywhere, right now, in this moment. I give you a ticket. Where would you like to go? I, I, I want to go to I, Canada. I would like to go to Thailand. Thailand, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I would like to go that? to Venice. Venice, okay. Venice. Mm -hmm. Venice. I would like to go to Bora Bora. France. France. Hmm. France. France. Very good. I would like to go. I would like to go to see the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay. Anybody else? I would like to go Canada. To Sorry, Canada, very good. Canada, mm -hmm. very good. I would like to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to sleep. No. Okay. Okay, no. I I would like to go. Um, wait, wait. I would like to go to work. Mm -hmm. At this hour? Yes, sir. And yes, sir, to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> In this moment. It is, <laughs> it is almost midnight. What are you going to do? <laughs> Walking. This time is uh, usually I am going to walk with my song. Ah, okay. Okay. Now, now you mentioned places that you would like to go. Now my question is going to 2019. Where did you go in 2019 that you would like to go again? Uh, I went, I went, I to, went to Moscow. <laughs> I went to Moscow. Okay. And you would like to go there again? Yes. I went to Guatemala. 
Okay, I went to Guatemala and I would like to go there to, again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I went I to went the Dominican. Ah, I went to Los Farallones and I would like to go there again. Yep. I went to the Tunco, Tunco Beach. Okay, and I would like to go there again. Anybody else? I went to the mall. The mall? Okay. And you would like to go there again? <laughs> Remember, places that you have been to, for example, I don't know if you have been to an amazing place and you say, wow, I want to come back here again, like an extraordinary place. Where did you go? Tell me about that particular place you went that you said, wow, this was an amazing place. Oh, Antigua, Guatemala. Okay, tell me about it. Tell me your experience in like a minute. I went to... Oh, teacher. I went to yes. Roatan. Guatemala, Roatan? Hey, that's Honduras. Honduras, uh-huh. Honduras. And that to, that's where the you can actually um, swim the, the dolphins, right? I don't know. I went to Ciudad Calle. Cayala City. Cayala. Okay. Did you like it? I yes, I like it. I like it. Uh, yes. I went to La Mosquitia in Honduras. Okay, La Mosquitia in Honduras. Honduras. Uh -huh. It's a good and exciting place. Oh, great to hear that. Anybody else? Yeah. You know, I went to Entrepinos. Mm hmm and there was a beautiful place there, the camping yeah. zone, and that's a wonderful place to meet. I oh, okay. How was the How was the weather, I Guillermo? Teacher, teacher. Too cold, my friend. Too cold. Teacher. <laughs> yes, I heard that. I, I heard that I, in Entrepinos, you actually find snow, right? Sometimes. I, There's like no. some times of the year. Entrepinos. I went to Entrepinos, and. The when I, how I can how can say I the, how can I say two thousand two two thousand two two in fourteen February fourteen okay because I went I was in my moon moon. Honeymoon. 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 <laughs> yeah. Ah, interesting. Honeymoon. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, guys. So I, I know I'm taking more time because I, I, I disconnected, right? I'm sorry for that inconvenience. Um, the hour went by flying. Today was more like a get to know each other. Tomorrow, I want you to guys log into the platform. Do it. If you guys have questions, feel free to text me on the group. If you want additional resources, if there's anything I can do for you, go ahead and do so. That's why we have that WhatsApp group. Okay. Thank you so much for joining okay. in today. Okay. Thank, thank you very you. much. I know it's. I know thank you guys are doing a lot of effort to actually. Sure. I have a question. Yes. What's your question? Are we going to have the those presentations that you have? Yes, I can share my material with you, of course. Please remind me, because if not, I'm like Dory. I forget things. <laughs> so please remind me, because I tend to forget things sometimes. So remind me, and I can share that with you, okay? The more material I share with you, the better for you. Resources, the better for you while completing the platform. Remember, you have to complete it, okay? Take advantage of this okay. great opportunity. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good night, thank everybody. You. Okay, guys. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, you too. Bye. 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 Good night, Good night teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Somebody said he or she had a question. Somebody had a question? No? Yes? No? Yes? No? I, I did. Okay, tell me, what's your question? Mm -hmm. Ask me. Can we? Okay. 
I was asking you, like, if we can go ahead with the assignments in the platform. Yes, of course. Go ahead. Develop the assignment. The idea is for you to develop the platform. And then just during the classes, the idea is to talk, to go over some of the topics that you didn't understand, for you to practice not only your listening, but also your speaking, because I want you all to practice speaking back to me so I can correct you back. And, and, and that way we can, you know, you guys can improve the language as well. Okay. Nice. Okay. Great. And if you have further questions, text me all the time. You can text me throughout the day in the group, in the WhatsApp group that we have assigned. That way I can I can share with you material and, and, and so on, okay? Okay. Okay. And resources. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You are welcome. Good night, okay? Enjoy the rest of okay. In, enjoy with your families. Bye, Eliezer. Bye, Bye, Irma. Bye you. Vanessa. You. Bye, Bea. Bye, Bye Nicolas. Teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, 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 Bye,